Taurus, hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I uh, Tarot by Jean. Please click subscribe button down below. Join me on Facebook at Tarot by Jean. The link to that is in the description box down below. Um, so click, click subscribe and follow me on Facebook once we reach a thousand subscribers and followers. Your name will be entered into a drawing for um, a free one hour session, whether it be mediumship session, uh, Reiki healing session and or is tarot session. <laughs> Noah. You right there, buddy? Okay. Here he is. Man of the hour. Okay. So let's this is a collective reading for the week of September twenty fifth. So this may not resonate with everybody and I will end the reading by uh an oracle cord. Drawing an oracle cord. All right, oh, Jesus, Taurus. Okay, let me clarify before we go into this, because this is, uh... Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. I'm okay. So, Taurus, in the past we've got the Emperor clarified by the Two of Swords, so both are about contr control and conflict. It, it, it seems like you were being Taurus-like and stubborn and stayed in conflict for a little bit, but right now, presently, we've got the Nine of Wands clarified by the Three of Swords. Both of them are about conflict and pain and grief and loss, and you're just tired of fighting whatever this is. In the future, we've got the Ace of Swords clarified by the Nine of Swords. So you're going to stay in this conflict for a while, and it's going to bring you a lot of mental anxiety and grief and frustration, and you're not going to be able to sleep at night. Because um, both those are about mental anguish. In the heart of the matter, what's driving it all is the lover's card clarified by the chariot so both of them are about choices and having a choice of where to go both of them are about conflict so maybe this is a relationship that is not working out uh you've been stuck in this grief for uh and lost for a while and you will for a while for for a while more so i do feel like this is telling you um just to work on your healing and grounding um, release some of the, that toxicity that this has brought about forth and do so in whatever way works for you. Maybe more grounding, more meditation, um, and moving forward. And the crowning tendency where all this energy is going, we've got the Six of Wands clarified by the devil. So, if you stay stuck in this for a while, these both of these cards are about conflict as well. The devil adds on a whole new component of conflict. This is about toxicity and codependency, addictive behaviors. When it's clarified by the Six of Swords, you're just really conflicted about how to move forward. So overall, this energy, I, th I feel like this is telling you to, um, while it's okay to have let yourself go through the grieving process, it's not okay to stay in that mental energy, whether it's you need to get out, um, uh, have a, you know, take time for yourself, uh, heal more, go for a walk, drink more water, take better care of yourself. Um, 
Do whatever you can to address this situation. The angel oracle guide has for you. Hidden blessings. So hidden blessings is about uh, paying attention to the things in your life that are going right and know that sometimes when something ends, it's just a blessing in disguise. Um, it doesn't feel like it at the time, but you will eventually grow and be better for it. Um, so I feel like this is telling you to keep your head up, do the best that you can, um, pay attention to the hidden blessings and the things around you to help get you through because it does seem like you're in a lot of just pain and grief and turmoil. Um, so Taurus. Literally take the bull by the horns and uh, go forth and be prosperous.